A lot of you felt it yesterday. Viewers from Cape Coral to Naples, all the way up to Northport, felt shaking and heard a loud rumbling. The boom that shook southwestern PA. People around the Pittsburgh area looking up just before 1130 this morning and wondering what was that? It seems that these situations are becoming more and more common in the news and in our daily lives. We are going to revisit some of these mystery booms, including the recent Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania situation and more mystery booms being heard over Florida. My friends, glad to be back. We are going to break this all down and you know how it goes. We're doing it right here, right now. Let's go. everybody welcome back january 8th 2022 1 47 p.m and we're going to start right here with the most recent confirmed meteor explosion this was over southwestern pennsylvania we covered this story on new year's day right after it happened around 11 30 a.m now i want to bring this up again because we got a little more information on it it's been confirmed by nasa yes i know that this was in fact a meteor and even though it was very much overcast all over the state of pennsylvania not many people saw this flash which led to a lot of the confusion but it is being confirmed now that this thing weighed over a thousand pounds shooting through the atmosphere at 45,000 miles an hour if you guys remember at first all we had to base this on was the fact that the GOES 16 weather satellite picked up the signature right here southwestern Pennsylvania over Allegheny County now many people were asking me what causes meteors to explode rather than just hitting the ground and becoming meteorites that's a big mix of an answer it's in part due to our atmosphere the friction difference alone always causes issues and is the reason we see the flashes. Now with this type of meteor, they call them a bolide, and this is a special type of fireball which explodes in a bright terminal flash at its end. And according to the American Meteor Society, you can see right here, the sonic boom that was heard on January 1st in Pittsburgh would be considered a rare event by American Meteor Society standards. This is because it requires a very bright fireball, usually greater than a magnitude dash eight to penetrate the stratosphere below an altitude of 50 kilometers. And even when that perfect storm of events takes place, there's still only a small chance that sound will be heard on the ground. And this wasn't just sound, the entire ground shook from this thing. It was mistaken as an earthquake. All right, and I wanna bring this over to Volcano Discovery right now because we need this website to know the difference between a legit earthquake and then our sonic boom. So right now I have a set for the last 30 days. The reason we have to do that is because we've crossed that threshold of seven days for the southwestern Pennsylvania sonic boom. So we have to activate the 30 day tab to see this now. But along with that, we have some other things we need to look at. And don't worry, I am not done with this so-called fake 6.1 earthquake that took place in southern Indiana. I've had plenty of people reach out to me saying that they saw a flash in the sky. Some people lost power right after this earthquake or whatever this was took place now I don't believe it was an earthquake at all we would know about that but there is something weird with this situation but moving along with southwestern PA one thing that's very hard to not notice is what seems like a big arc shape that stretches down from Canada through the northeast of the United States hugging the coastline by New Jersey Long Island Chesapeake Bay and then cutting back in in the Carolinas all the way down towards Alabama if we jump over to the USGS we can see that some of these quakes were verified as earthquakes that's what the USGS is for but not nearly as as many as we see as we do here on volcano discovery that is because this website not only reports the sonic booms but it also investigates each of these situations and then later on relabels them for whatever they are but we've proven time and time again that the northeast goes through phases it seems of getting multiple sonic booms within a very short period of time and i want to be clear the updated info on this 6.1 quake or non-quake that happened in indiana is being labeled as deleted but clearly it's not deleted Deleted, we could still go back and read this data. I'm not sure why this is even being kept on the site other than the fact that there was something legitimate about it. And the reason I say that, and I'm going to leave all the links to these websites so you guys can go verify this information on your own, but we've had an uptick in meteor sightings over the state of Indiana. Specifically over the last day and a half, we've had two different reports of over 20 people reporting meteor sightings. You can see this one taking place right here, the meteor seemingly moving from south to north towards Michigan. And then in a completely separate event, you could see another meteor seemingly shooting over Lake Michigan down towards the southwest being reported both of these taking place in the same day and now here's where things get a bit interesting if we look over here at this event over florida on january 6th we've had 
33 people report seeing this. One even reported hearing a noise. Now, this is in direct relation to the current mystery booms going on over Florida. I'm sure by now a lot of my subs know about Goofon News. I've been doing some work with them in third phase with the UFO stuff, and he happens to live in Florida, and he's been talking about these mystery booms that people are hearing all over the state. Now, what's interesting is even on our go-to website that we use to find these mystery booms, you can click on the past 30 days, and you will notice there's not a single earthquake event or reported mystery boom on this website. Now, that's very odd because I'm personally getting messages almost on a daily basis from people all over the southeast, including Florida, hearing and seeing meteors more and more. And I also want to remind you of back in October of this year, October 10th to be specific, New Hampshire had a series of mystery booms that were also proven to be exploding meteor. The New Hampshire meteor situation has actually been going on for years. I've been covering this. In fact, about four years ago, I posted a video and basically broke the news of a meteorite that caused a forest fire in New Hampshire. This was back in October of 2017. There was actually a boots on the ground eyewitness that saw the meteor. They did not see it hit anything, but they saw a meteor just before the report of the forest fire. Very, very crazy stuff. And then, of course, what seems like an October pattern, October 10th, 2021, jumping forward almost five years now, another series of mystery booms in New Hampshire. All right, my friends, I think we've done enough jumping around for one day. The point I'm trying to make here is we are having a clear-cut uptick in meteor sightings, meteor reports, space rocks in general. You can't deny that the media is absolutely filled with this theme. And this isn't just the media. We're talking Hollywood as well, the movie Don't Look Up. The fact that NASA is engaging in different types of missions that have to do with asteroids and comets, it's all just very, very suspect. I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch this video. Please leave questions or concerns down below. If you have any sightings, anything sky phenomena related, please feel free to reach out. Email is in the about me section of the channel and in the description of each video. Thoughts and prayers are out to a good friend of mine today. They are going through a loss and I just wanted to say how sorry I am. Special shout out to Canada. I appreciate you all and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye. Stop right there, my friends. If you have not already, click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Click all and you will get all notifications from this channel. And trust me, you won't be disappointed.